my lovely Aries. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aries, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is for the last week in May. Keep in mind, loves, this is a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. Let's see, loves, what this week looks like and where are we going with this energies. We are into Mercury retrograde starting, I believe, this week. Gemini season. And also, we do have a full moon in Sagittarius. As well, this is a lunar eclipse. Quite strong energy, loves. Absolutely. But let's hear how you, Aries, are, will be, and what we need to know this week. And overarching for the reading for you, we have a tower moment, my loves. You know my feelings towards the towers. Whatever we have a tower happening or it's coming to us is most likely to clear up the energies to clear up the things scorpionic energy i feel here my catch you off guard here is death very much speaks death about transformation new things the old ways are blowing apart and there is new things coming and six of wands there's something here indeed beautiful six of wands is one of the most positive cards in the deck and also speaks about winning and a situation it's kind of like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger there's something here that whatever is blowing here it's bringing you beautiful energy. Ace of Cups. Wow. So it's kind of like when you at least expect that things start being in your favor. You know, could be quite scary. Like, oh my goodness, a tower. But with the Six of Wands and the Death and this Ace of Cups, that might be a love coming in and actually quite good. For some of you, it could be um, a race in your job, could be a promotion, or could be actually a totally different position, which I feel here you, you could wait it for, but you didn't really expecting it. And just like, you know, you know how I feel like, look at me kind of, look where I am, whatever I got. Let's see, loves. Whatever the situation is, like you, you don't feel this, this way will turn out, basically. Lovers, choices, my loves. Five of Cups, Knight of Cups, Star, Two of Cups, High Priestess, you know, whatever is coming, you do know. Six of Cups, Three of Wands, and Four of Swords. And let's clarify really, really quick this Five of Cups. Somebody here has certain regrets, whatever they choose, whatever they they made. But also I feel here is like choosing to leave behind something and move forward. With this five of cups, it's like not resisting anymore whatever was holding you back. Yeah. Five of Swords, not lying to itself. King of Cups. 
for some of you there is you Aries dealing here with a water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces and I feel here you you might got over them there's something here just like you know doing you you got yourself we do have major arcana lovers star high priestess death tower this is quite big energy for you but also whatever you got here my loves it's kind of you don't really want to share with anybody what's good. It's like the goodies, I will keep it for you, for me, basically. Four of Swords. Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel here there is an Aries who moves forward. It's more likely... Somebody here might come and confront you in, you know, certain things. But I feel here you, you're saying the truth and keep moving forward. It's like we had a missed opportunity. You, you miss me. Bye. Because I'm feeling here this is movement forward. I feel also that you are looking forward, my loves. Let's see. Two of Cups. What is here for? World. And the Emperor and underneath here we have Knight of Swords there is something here you really wanted to do and now you're doing it and I feel here somebody here is not is not comfortable with war They may never thought you will do this on them or to them and things like that. Whatever the thing is, it's like I do that for my stability. Chariot, yeah. I feel here is like you, you close for good a chapter with somebody and I'm moving forward towards somebody new. And one thing here, what I see here is like you put them at respect, whatever it is. I I have here Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, water energy strongly, Sagittarius, Cancerian, Scorpio. But it's something here is like, you know, it's kind of like you're telling somebody, somebody calm down. They might tell you certain things that they regret, but I feel here they say certain things. Most likely what you want to hear from them, not necessarily what they need to say. And whatever situation I feel here, there is movement forwards like now, now, now. You might do this towards this person this month of moving into Gemini in the Gemini season. But I feel here the real move, 
the real back forward, like the real forward energy is in Cancerian season, which is next month. Within two months, everything which is right here will be unfolded. Let's see here, Knight of Cups, speak to me here. Page of Wands. Yeah, there is a person who could manipulate here a lot. Whatever is here. They, they will reach out back. Or, there is something here coming back want it back or want to do something but you just like you know we had a missed opportunity by felicia eight of swords this person is not moved on from you they 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 can't like they in the devil energy it's very very strong like you know they might strongly think of you And they, they try, try, try. It's like this person is like the... Sorry for making this comparison to say that or to compare them with this. But you know, like the, the bad bugs, they're always there. And unless you throw away the mattress or the whole bed... That's how is this person, they will, you know, come again and again and again. But their energy is quite not in a loving way. I feel here you, Aries, you following your intuition. You might really want it for a good, good period of time for this person to make it right, to come back. And once you decide it, it's like, you know what? I was looking and now I'm healing, I'm moving forward. And this person starts knocking at the door. And first is like slow, slow, and then faster, faster, fast, 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 fast. And I feel here you when you calm down kind of, when you just not talking to them or didn't give any reaction, is like then they come, you know, with an offer, with communication. And tell you basically certain things. And you might feel like, you know, I feel here you you will speak it out. That you're moving forward. We had a missed opportunity. I'm not going to come back here. Because with the world, emperor and the chariot, this is very, very, very masculine energy. Young energy. It's like, if I say ahead... I'm just going ahead. And for some of you, yes, you might move towards something new. For others of you, there is new love. But I feel here you might keep it at this moment secret. One other thing here, for some of you, you might literally travel or move to a different location. Because we have traveling cards, we have distant cards. As we have the world, chariot. Three of Wands, Will of Fortune. This is distance. Either you detaching completely, either you are traveling, either you are moving to a different location, you are not telling anybody. There is something here, or even your energy here got distance from whatever is negative there. Another thing here, for some of you, you could worked here with with um, a healer here to heal your energy to clear up your energy so you can move on from whoever was there toxic to you and that's quite awesome let's see here one advice from the universe one card from the universe thank you spirit thank you and it goes the aries four of wands Happiness. Happiness, my loves. It's like I'm moving into something new here. I'm going forward.
for some of you there is the energy what also what I'm picking up there is a celebration of some kind and that could be you know regards finances could be something here financial energy for you make sure you have a balance whatever it is there because I feel here could be something here financially looks great but if you do not have you know stability or make a stable energy you know out there they might be quite short term so be careful with that okay because we do have the six of pentacles here make sure everything is balanced also for some of you there's something here you gotta learn what you need to learn and might be short term but might be spending a lot of money for that learning so that's that's the thing here so Aries that's what I have here for you for this week coming there's a lot a lot of energy up in the air and as well in your energy coming up see loves many blessings Namaste.